Your hands are stupid. My name is Dad. I'm a writer. I like to find out about stuff. Is a banana a tree or grass? Eh? <laughs> this is Vic, my producer. She doesn't know a lot of stuff. And then it's minimum, right? Minimum means drink. We investigate. The small baby. Stop. Oh. Search high and low. How do we know that? To find answers to some silly questions. So, a chili crab is from Robert Crab. Huh? Why are they called sperm whale? No matter how weird things get. And when you turn off that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's boring. Don't drink and drive. Oh, wow. Do you have a bad time? No. <laughs> Together, we deep dive into stuff we don't know about. It's sad, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. You might not know about it too. <laughs> Disgusting. Now you do. Diam la. <laughs> there are birds all around Singapore. Colourful ones, intense ones, even annoying ones. What's an intense bird? Intense bird is like a bird that... that doesn't talk so much. But the ones I come across the most are these little folks. They are beaks, the sharp claws, the ruffled feathers, the eyes. What's their story? Turns out it's a really long story. Most of them are the great, 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 great... Victoria? Uh, oh, great, 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 great... Okay, great. okay. Grandkids of these guys. Wow, that was a really big glow down. Uh. We're talking about chickens, by the way. Talking about chickens. So, if chickens are the descendants of dinosaurs, and we're not joking, you can Google it. Why are there so many chickens today but not dinosaurs? And were there ever dinosaurs in Singapore? It's not a crazy question to ask. Even our neighbours have discovered evidence of these extra-large, extinct chickens. In 2020, fossilised footprints were found in Kelantan during a geoscience exploration by a research team from University of Malaysia, Kelantan. They discovered footprints from a sauropod dinosaur. If there were dinosaurs around us, surely some of them must have taken a day trip to Singapore. So, is there evidence of a Singaposaurus? Yes! Here's the claw mark found in mudstone along Sentosa. I knew it! See, Victoria, you say I crazy, right? But look, look, look who's the crazy one now. You curly hair crazy, you glasses wearing gundu. At least my name not something stupid like Nini Ted. I contacted Lee Kong Chen Natural History Museum because of the three sauropods on display and I asked them if they knew any paleontologists or dinosaur experts um, who they could refer to us. And they just replied me, while Lee Kong Chien has dinosaur fossils, they don't have any experts um, on hand, but they can direct us to some. And for fossils, they told us that it was best to talk to local fossil enthusiasts. We'll check out this fossil enthusiast group, uh, see what we can find. I remember the day I got my first fossil was uh, from a fossil a mineral shop, and I happened to see a fossil trilobite. Uh, on display there. I was very curious at what was this uh, strange looking creature in the rock. And then from there, my interest in prehistoric life grew. How many hmm. fossils do you have? I would say I have about uh, over 500 unique specimens. All kinds of fossils, uh, it's like mosquitoes, maybe some teeth. I put my colourful stuff. Like, actually, I like colourful fossils. Oh, so you can still see like the eggshell. This is a fossil poop. It's a fossil poop. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> then the animal was fossilized. It so happened to be roughly in like one piece that resembles a skull. This kind of creature lives in your past. A smoking egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not, this is not normal, right? Oh, cool, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I, I have the same, this kind, the same species. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the paradox sites. If you had to think, uh, <laughs> Bad la. Do you think there will ever be dinosaurs found in Singapore? In Malaysia, they, were, they found the Spinosaurus. And then in Thailand also, there are, there are known sites where they find dinosaurs. So possibly buried under someone's maybe block somewhere that could be a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> there was this story where a professor found what he thought was a dinosaur claw mark in Sentosa. Hmm. Could you maybe tell us a, a little bit about that discovery? So I think in the geological survey that he did, he suggested that this part of Sendosa was possibly the site of a prehistoric lake. 
we got to see a place where he happened upon this like kind of like a, a single claw mark in the in the matrix of that rock. I think he, he took that sample back and donated it to the museum here. Do you think it's indicative of dinosaurs in Singapore? Uh, I would say like um, that one we have to take it with a pinch of salt because... Wait, wait, what is he trying to say? Uh, like in the site, there will be other indications that there were other for, like prehistoric life in the, in this area. We didn't find any like bones or remains of vertebrates in that in that site or at least so far lah, from what what was uh, uh, explored in the past i think i think it's quite hard to say conclude that this mark in the soil was actually from a dinosaur oh so it's not really evidence uh, if it's inconclusive <laughs> you shut up you you leave. it's my turn to speak that so we can't really say that we have a dinosaur yet but I have to admit that while Singapore might not have discovered fossils of our own, our little island is super into dinosaurs. I mean, everyone goes through a dinosaur phase, right? You have a liking towards like dinosaurs? God, uh, uh. when I was younger, then I was very interested. The the T Rex, the this one. I I, I watch like Jurassic, the old movies and like the new ones also. What, what's the one with the horn called? The that one, the that okay. one. After I lost interest, I got oh. I got into something like, else. Do, why do you think there's no more dinosaurs in Singapore now? Um, they were too small. I think, right, dinosaur last time, they don't leap out around the Singapore land, right? Because of the meteor. They all died. Boom, bam. Boom. Although fossils have not been discovered in Singapore, it doesn't mean that there aren't any dinosaurs here. <laughs> Singaporeans can be obsessed with dinosaurs. Wow. I mean like really obsessed. I mean look at the Jurassic World movies. It's raked in billions of dollars at the box office. And I don't think the craze is going to die down anytime soon. Perhaps the most extensive display of dinosaur goodness in Singapore can be found in the Lee Kong Chen Natural Museum. Featuring three sauropod fossils, any self-respecting documentary on dinosaurs in Singapore arguably has to go through this priceless exhibit worth its weight in gold. Right there. How, how much is the ticket? Huh? $16? There are, of course, loads of interesting, free dinosaur stuff all over Singapore. Like Jurassic Mile. Wow. You cannot beat by Chris Pratt. Your baby don't love you. Your hands are stupid. And this park in Topayo. Lowercase, wow. But the dinosaur park I was most interested in was the one in Pasiris called Brontosaur Park. And no, it's not because I stay in Pasiris. I'm sure it's somewhat related to this thing in Pasiris. It really isn't. For reference, this is a Brontosaurus. I found a HDB Facebook post dated around 2017 that talked about renovating this park. I mean, just look at this. Dinosaurs of various sizes, with a brontosaurus slide housing a little hut-like shelter on top, little eggshells all around for weary prehistoric travellers to rest, and a dino-human family hatching right before our eyes. So I took that down to the playground and... Um, uh, it, it should be right here. I mean, there were a few dinosaur marks here and there. This is Brontosaur Park. What about the brontosaurus slide? Oh. And the little eggshells. And the dino-human family. I guess you can't really call this a brontosaur park. Uh. Oh, I don't know how to insult that here. We dropped by the residence corner, but unfortunately they weren't open to answering any questions. Like the door wasn't open, no, not that the, they weren't open. Like the, the door was a bit locked, yes. <laughs> we emailed Pasir CC to ask about their park. Surely they would know. Here's their very helpful answer. Thank you for the email. You may wish to contact HDB on this matter. We hope this clarifies. Thank you. This guy doing a haiku. Ah. We managed to contact a couple of playground architects. Back. I think because I don't know where, when they launched this, but they think this was when they had the ROAH budget. Oh, I know the landscape architect for this law. Yeah. She. Retired already. So, yeah, she's in she's in HTV. So like she's on HTV side, but wow. our is when they when This is what the lead architect replied. According to HTV, the original Brontosaur Park 
was named in the 90s by an architect who wanted to portray the story of a boy and his imaginary dinosaur friend, kinda like Calvin and Hobbes. She chose the brontosaurus and rendered it in both literal and abstract forms. So what happened to the renovation that HDB promised back in 2017? That's it. I guess we'll just have to wait patiently. Back to fossils. The prospect of dinosaur fossils being unearthed in Singapore is significantly dimmer, unlike our neighbours. So I just emailed the University of Malaysia Kelantan, who found the fossil. We'll see what they say. Um, maybe you can tell us a bit more about the fossils that uh, the university found. When we uh, do mapping, actually we got lost. We got lost in the uh, Bukit Panau uh, jungle. So when we become exhausted, we want to rest. And we lean our back to the rock. I saw something like, why this uh, rock is like rounded and folded? We never came into our mind, it is sauropod actually. When we see the, the footprint, it's like <laughs> very huge. We got shocked and then our prof said that, wow, this is a uh, dinosaur uh, tracks way. This is footprint, uh, Shaqid. Our lead researcher, Dr. Arham, contact the prof Shinobu Ishigaki. And then finally, he uh, confirmed that it is uh, a sauropod footprint. The whole Malaysia, got what we say viral. So you all, find, you all found it by chance. By, <laughs> chance. by chance, is it? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Were there previous fossil discoveries in Malaysia that you know of? Before uh, the finding, in Malaysia, some researchers already found fossil, but uh, very small fossil. They found uh, spinosauric tooth, just small tooth. This is a species that eat fish uh, and, and normally live nearby the uh, coastal area. Do you guys have an idea of what kind of dinosaurs may have roamed this region in that case? Maybe I will need to explain about geology time scale. The dinosaur exists in Mesozoic era. Actually, we exist in a huge supercontinent called Panja. After this period come the famous one, Jurassic period. Maybe everybody know Jurassic because that's movie Jurassic Park. <laughs> the supercontinent split into two, Laurasia and Gondwana land. The separation continue where lots of smaller plates, lots of shallow sea came into existence during the Cretaceous period. Some part of the landed area become submerged. When it becomes sea, normally the fossil uh, are harder to find. For Singapore itself, right? Do you think it was terrestrial? Only Jurong Formation remain as terrestrial rock. The possibility to find is in uh, Jurong area <laughs> only. <laughs> but still some possibilities. So still got chance, uh, still got chance. Uh, uh. Yes, still got chance. <laughs> still got chance. Throughout the Mesozoic area, uh, one of the famous dinosaurs is Spinosaurus, Iguanodon, sauropod. That's why the finding of uh, sauropod footprint become viral and uh, well known. Another type is Ankylosaurus, Trinosaurus. Is it if there's like a lot of construction or human activity nearby, the fossils get damaged quite badly also, is it? Uh, yes. Actually, um, when we uh, do development, they will try to finish the project within the time frame. Maybe some developer already found dinosaur, but they don't want to uh, expose it, disturbing their uh, timeline and, and so on. Maybe in the future, as the development has been done, more excavation will be done. Uh, maybe someday, someday, someone will excavate and found the real dinosaur bone or remain by by chance again. <laughs> Maybe. I did that. In the past, there were so many more like this and they're still making discoveries to this day. So it tests your imagination, uh, especially for a kid. I think quite good to like daydream and just have lots of uh, thoughts about um, how dinosaurs were like in the past. No. <laughs> And maybe that's why HDB playgrounds with dinosaurs are just as important as natural museums. 
you never know what could be the spark for a kid that leads to a lifelong love for a subject. It could be the three giant sauropod fossils in an air-conditioned room, or whatever this is. So were there dinosaurs in Singapore? Yes. No. Mm, maybe. Maybe. It actually amazes me that Singapore has quite a lot of like these dinosaur things popping up across the island. I think it's very good that like, uh, we are letting kids experience this and making it more publicly accessible as well. In their fictional and fossilised forms, dinosaurs give us perspective of a world long before any of us ever existed. How did it change over a course of 4 billion years? And where do we fit in? To quote Jurassic Park, life finds a way. It's definitely possible in the future, but like Han Yang and Shakir said, it takes a lot of passion, patience and money to possibly find a fossil in Singapore. But hopefully one day we might be able to do just that. With a little bit of luck, of course. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, so you just jump now also. Oh, I, I, think, I think better not jump here. No, no, don't uh, jump uh, off. Down, down, downstairs, downstairs we, it's okay, yeah. Yeah, just jump <laughs> a bit. Just. Like now? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, great. <laughs> 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 <laughs>